So I'm going to walk you through how to create uh, new sales letters using Pro Affiliate 2.0 using the new Pro Builder drag and drop functionality that we've just introduced. So again, we're really excited about this because I think one of the biggest things is not only can you, you know, now you don't have to touch code and you can drag widgets and, and do different things, but it gave us the ability to really offer pre-built templates where you could just simply start from, you know, a template that we think looks nice, converts well, and then you can take it from there and customize it with your offers and things like that. So today, here's let's walk through um, how easy it is to build a sales letter. Um, so let's uh, my new sales letter, and then we're going to use a pre-built template, and let's use the default sales letter one. And so this will come through. It takes a moment to create the modules. So we'll be building everything from the header, the main areas, the videos, uh, a secure order form, all that kind of stuff will be built into this. And then, like I said, once it's created, you can come through and start to customize. So here we go. Just built my pre-built template, and it gave us a header, uh, some a clever message area, video testimonials, featured lists, and a call to action box at the end. So um, real quick, let's publish this. And then after we publish it, I want to take a look at the front end so you can see what we just built just by simply dragging that down. And so here is the front end of it. So you're, you know, you, we've built all of this just by simply dragging it down and <clears throat> just kind of gives you a good overview of what you can come in and start editing. So if we go back, uh, we'll go into the header here and you could change uh, from into a custom header image, maybe if something different or if you want to change the text up top, you can do that as well. But if you have a nice header that you've designed, you can upload that as well. Um, and just like everything else, I mean, we, if you didn't want the testimonial there and maybe you wanted a little lower right before the call to action box, just drag it down and that's all you have to do. Um, and then after, obviously since this is drag and drop, you can come into different widgets and say you want to add something else. Um, so let's add, you know, let's add this opt in here and this will, we'll throw it up, we'll throw it up top up here. And again, it's already kind of built with some, you know, dummy text that we've built and it's going into your leads. Uh, let me show you now what I just changed just by simply dragging down a widget that we built. Um, come over here and update. And you'll see a new opt-in section within this sales letter now. So just like that, we were able to put in a uh, opt-in box and you can you can change these colors you can update this text however you want um, yeah so pretty easy stuff so again here's the opt-in header you can see that's where it gets the blue from right here and title content change everything change where you want the leads to go what thank you page so pretty awesome that you're able to do that um, and another nice nice thing is this call to action box where you can come down here, change up, you can even drag items into your call to action box. So if you wanted to add more text and things like that, have a lead form in there um, where you could grab some emails. Um, or if you wanted to just upload a button inside of there, I could just grab one of our buttons. And so instead of the form, you know, we could throw a button inside of there and then you could have that button um, you can upload a custom button if you wanted to um, and then you can have a link so if you wanted to link to like a PayPal account or a Clickbank link wherever you wanted it to go you could just have that show up and so that would obviously you know show up down here if you wanted to remove this form and have some more text in the button so pretty neat stuff um, we're pretty excited about it I think this is really going to change the way people are using this and it's really going to make it easy for people to have a real nice starting foundation and then they can come in and make updates as they wish. So that's a quick overview of how to build sales letters with Pro Builder. And you'll be able to, on your way, to create stuff like this in a matter of minutes. And we really hope that you like what we're doing over here. Thanks.